Hey guys, okay, so you've just seen the, uh, the crash, and when I found it, I found it like this, but if I were to be more specific, like this, and the orange lights are flashing, and that was it, no sounds, but I noticed, let me swap this back over here, that this prop was missing. Now the damage that's there, the damage that it incurred was this. As you can see, that's necked up there, and it's put a kink here as well, which means that this leg will be, it'll be out of balance. It'll be out of, um, yeah, it, it's it, it's twisted basically. It is ruined. I can salvage this. I can salvage this, and I can salvage the back door. That's it. That shells connected, but it did mean that I could put it in this. Now, to be honest with you, I can see this clearer. Like if I've if I've got a backdrop of trees or anything like that, I can see this clearer than I can the dark side. So, yeah, it's it's. I did like it looking the way it did, but I also like this looking the way this does too. Well, I've been trying to keep this bits of paper nice and. Nice and flat, it doesn't really matter. So, I took the opportunity. Um, now, when I first crashed it, I didn't. this. I didn't put this on. I didn't take this out. This is the FPV transmission antenna. And I didn't replace it with this FPV um, antenna to start off with. But what I did do was I, I put it into the new shell, put it into this shell, which is... And then I took it out. I got a couple of good flights in, both of them full time as well, like just over 17 minutes really. And but when I came back, I'm just looking for them now. When I when I went to change onto the third battery, I actually found that I'd managed to get through another one of these cables. Now there's four now, so there's the original, and these are. Three extras, or should I say, no, that is three extras, yeah. Now, it's, it's weird how this happens, you know, something happens to this, and then it's a couple of batteries later, or a battery later, that this sort of burns through. The other one, why it's burnt through, is because when I put it all back together again, in my haste, I must have snagged the wire. I mean, I did, because there's, there's a bare wire in there, which I put some um, electrical tape over. And it managed to do it, so I, I cycled back out. It's two and a half miles to where I cycle, and I cycle back out there just to get a beba beba alarm going off. <gasps> What's wrong? Brought it back, and it was the cable, but it's been fine since then. So I've double checked that I don't manage to put a cable in the wrong place. Um, 
So yeah, so I've, I've done new little mods. I've changed the because uh, it's got a white back door now instead of a black. I was thinking about putting the black one there, but I think I prefer it white. Helps me again see a bit of orientation. Helps me see, and of course, now I don't have a dipole antenna in here. I'm gonna have to make a little dipole or find a little dipole antenna so I can carry on using the other panel antennas. But it's gonna give me a whole bunch of tests to do anyway. And that's going to be um, using the panel antennas with this, and using, of course, its twin um, with this pagoda, pagoda even, because um, I've got the the twins that go on the hands on the handset and the controller transceiver, whatever it is you want to call it. They used to be just receivers, didn't they, or transmitters? But now they receive a signal as well as transmit a signal. You've got to call them a transceiver, really, but. So that's for the transceiver anyway. Controller, receiver, transmitter, whatever. Um, and I've also put the 2.4 gigs antenna on the outside and just sealed it in place with a little bit of hot snot, uh, hot glue. Put a little tiny hole, a small enough hole just to get the IPEX connector through because I wasn't going to be able to get this through. So the smallest thing is the IPEX. So it's got a little hole there, it won't hurt. Oh, it's got holes all underneath it. They're screw holes. Um, so I think it looks quite nice. It all works like that. I've already done a battery in, in the front yard and just playing around with it. But, um, but yeah, that does look quite nice. There was a whole bunch of, this is the, the third time I've done this video and there was a whole bunch of other stuff and I've forgotten what it was now. I did a, um, I took the case off this, the, the, the plastic off it, and did a, a, a go with this, but it was a bit unfair because I forgot to retune the transceiver back to the frequency this was on, or at least find out what frequency works best for this because I didn't take note of it when I tuned it to this panel antenna. This one's got four or five at the end of it. I can't remember what frequency this is on now, but it's got four or five at the end of it anyway. So I'm going to do that. And the next mod that I've got is I've got myself a 5 dBi uh, 2.4 gig antenna. So hopefully that will give me that little bit of extra, extra distance if I can get it with it. But I'll do some videos on that, on the, on the tests of that over the, hopefully over the next coming week. Not been having very good weather um, today, really, to get out there. By the time I got back, it's just not looking very nice at all. And I'm quite tired as well. I've, the amount of videos that I've made, but I've not put up because they've just been too lengthy or whatever. And this one's just going to be brief, compact, and I'm going to miss bits as well. Um, just to show you the crash, because before I can put the other videos up, of course, I've got to show you the crash at least. <laughs> and then you're going to get to understand why it's changed one colour combination and now I've got the uh, and now I've um, after stripping it down again because uh, of another wire being burnt I decided to do the antenna mod now I was going to record it all to be honest with you um, but I've decided that what I'm going to do is because there's a few uh, tips I can give you about when you take yours apart just make it a little bit easier you may have figured it out already um, but I'll do another one taking it apart and I'll, and I'll show you simple little things like once you crack the top case off you can put a screw back in back in here just to get these up out of the way there's no point putting a screw in there there's no thread but you can put one in there there's a thread to the bottom part of the case which means you can have the top off you can work on it you can be moving it around and you won't have these flapping about the place uh, waiting to come off at the solder joints you know, so, uh, so I've got a couple of little bits like that um, but yeah, so that's the that's the new boy, Droney, modded up. Uh, getting him back out the field, just to give you a, a, a brief thing on what happened, was you'll see when I'm flying between uh, the two trees, that's why I, t I tried to bank round to fly between the two trees. And then it's, it looks like this end just drops down anyway, so it does a bit of a tumble and then it's just dropping down. And if I'd have found it with a broken blade, and a you know, blade missing and a, and a blade there. I'd say there was something wrong with the 
the prop, I must have hit something, something hit me in flight, whatever. But because the whole thing was missing, there was no hub or anything, I don't think I tightened it on enough. And now, now, since then, I'm starting to use a little tool that came. I'm starting to use a little tool that came um, with it um, to ensure that when I tighten it, I get it sort of snug and then just give it that little bit extra. Not enough to, you know, rip any threading or anything, but enough to make sure it's, it's definitely snug. I don't want that happening again. Um, it landed in the hay field, which made it not that easy just to look over the fence and see. And so I used the GPS coordinates before I shut this down. I, I, I took a photo of what I could see on the screen. And of course the top line is the quad, bottom line. Um, you can see, look, the bottom line here is the uh, controller. And then the line above that is the quad. So I used those coordinates and just used Google Maps and typed in the coordinates. And it wasn't very far, probably a couple of meters away from where the quad actually was, maybe three meters. And I suppose when it decided it wasn't going to take any more GPS coordinates, it, you know, in that tumble and whatever it, um, in the momentum that it had, because it wouldn't have just stopped dead, it would have carried on moving a little bit. It just took it out of the way a little tiny bit, but once I knew where to look, it didn't take me more than five minutes to actually find it, so I was, I was quite chuffed with that. Quite chuffed with that. So that's it, yeah. I should put another video up of the, the second flight going out um, afterwards, after I fixed it, but before these mods were on, because I actually tested one of these antennas on the transceiver, but with this standard um, still built into this. And it didn't do too bad, and I also tested it with the, the panel, but of course that panel wasn't tuned in the way it's supposed to be, so that doesn't really count. But yeah, there's a little bit of flying around there, so it's not bad. I'll put the video up anyway. And I will uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. If anybody else out there, I can't remember if I've mentioned it in this video or not, gets through these, the way I've been getting through them. If you want to uh, let us know and tell me the circumstances that yours burn through if if they do at all because it just seems like um, I'm getting through a, a few of these but one of them like I say I actually cut through a cable on there and shorted out and this seems to be acting like the first the first part of the fusing system and I don't mind that as long as I know what it is I'll just make sure I've always got plenty so I don't have to go too much time without actually flight time Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one.